First, a lot happened yesterday to clear the way for the Trump administration to actually recognize Joe Biden as the president-elect. Let's go through, through how things played out. It started with the state of Michigan's top election board voting yesterday to certify president-elect Joe Biden's win over President Trump with a margin of more than 154 thousand votes. Three out of four board members, including one Republican, voted to certify the election results. The other GOP board member withheld his vote. Last week, President Trump welcomed two other Republican state lawmakers from Michigan who had been pushing to delay certification in key counties to the White House in a move that many saw as an attempt to influence the certification process. Yes. Yesterday, Michigan's Secretary of State tweeted in part, quote, democracy has prevailed. The election was fair and secure, and the results accurately reflect the will of the people. And with that, though the president himself is not conceding, the Trump administration has finally cleared the way for the Biden transition. The head of the General Services Administration informed the president-elect yesterday that he'd been approved as the apparent winner of the election, unlocking federal funds for his transition to, and allowing him to coordinate with federal agencies even more urgent amid the coronavirus pandemic. In a letter to President-elect Biden, GSA Administrator Emily Murphy wrote, quote, Please know that I came to my decision independently, based on the law and available facts. I was never directly or indirectly pressured by any executive branch official, including those who work at the White House or GSA, with regard to the substance or timing of my decision. In a tweet moments after her decision, President Trump insisted it was his recommendation to move forward with the transition. But he added, our case strongly continues. We will keep up the good fight, and I believe we will prevail. The president also tweeted late last night that he will, quote, never concede, and that his legal challenges will continue. Multiple sources tell The New York Times that in recent days, top aides, including White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows, White House Counsel Pat Cipollone, and the president's personal attorney, Jay Sekulow, all told him that the transition needed to begin. The Times reports that the president continued to solicit advice from Rudy Giuliani, who told the president that his legal options had not yet been exhausted. The Washington Post reports the president was angry about the pressure from his top aides. Quote, he called political advisors Monday to say he had doubts about the GSA initiating the transition, to inquire about whether he could block certification of the Michigan results, and to express reluctance to travel to Georgia to campaign for the two Republican senators facing runoff elections. Despite Trump's resistance, the Post reports that officials throughout the administration plan to coordinate directly with counterparts on the Biden team starting today. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.